Lily's Expat Life is a great channel where the face of the channel, Lily Hubbard, documents her life in Thailand. She has a wonderful channel, and she recently changed her channel's name to Lily's Life, which most likely means that she's transitioned to a proper Thai life and embraced everything that comes with it. She has about 250,000 subscribers and 243 uploads at the time of writing, and in this video, we're going to talk about her secret life. Here's a bit of backstory. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel for awesome content, and we'll make sure that we'll keep you entertained and informed about your favorite YouTubers. Lily Hubbard is known for her life in Thailand, her expat's life, and how she's living in Koh Samui. Lily is a businesswoman from New Orleans, the founder of Coquette Restaurant. On a business venture, she visited Thailand. Wat was the first person she met in Samui, and he's a very simple man. They went on to get married. Wat, trained in more physical work, isn't tech savvy, so Lily, during the pandemic, started a career on YouTube. They have two sons together, Luke and Leon, and a daughter, Lila, to complete the family. They lead a very peaceful and humble life, and they have everything they need. Lily owns a successful business, but let's go a little deeper into her life. Lily did not have a good childhood growing up. Her father was a very disturbed man, which affected her a lot growing up. She had a vodka addiction, which made it very hard for her to get through the day. There was a point where people were threatening the entire family. Her father, as she says, is a narcissistic, sociopathic con man, and that created a lot of issues as she grew up. She even claims to have witnessed demonic possession. She told us about her father and how he wasn't ready or couldn't be a father. As she says, it was an influence from her grandfather that made her father take a dark turn. Her grandfather was schizophrenic, and he would hear voices as much as I'd like to believe they were demons. I'm pretty sure they were just psychological issues, and so he spent about 10 years at a mental hospital, and you know how that place works. Her grandfather was subjected to electroshock therapy, and he had his mind reduced to a 3-year-old. This meant that Lily's father never had a father figure, and so he had to figure life out on his own. The scrutiny people with mental disabilities used to face was unbearable back in the 1950s. Lily's grandfather was incapable of doing his daily task or focusing on a career which made it pretty much clear that something was wrong with the man. One thing led to another and the entire Hubbard family faced a lot of negativity in society and that was when she also felt a negative energy in her house. Lily claims that her aunt faced a lot of poltergeist activity and when her father lent her a helping hand, this evil entity and question lost onto her father, which resulted in a lot of bad decisions that her father made, which ultimately led to a massive downfall in all of the aspects of their life. All of this just led to the entire family going bankrupt and her father getting convicted for all the wrongs he committed. Lily seems to blame it all on this evil entity, this negative presence in her family. It's hard for someone to get a job if they have a criminal record and someone with fraud beside their name. It's next to impossible, so Lily's mother became the man of the house while her father became the housewife. The cloud has a silver lining with Lily step in stepping up and taking care of the family. Lily's father made a couple of friends present and these ex-convicts were hired as a construction workers to build their family home, but things went south when they started leaving voice messages and calling with death threats. The three sisters, Chloe, Marcy and Lily were left alone in the house while there were people at the door banging, potentially trying to harm them. Being an exchange student in France helped her go out of the negative settings, but when she came back, it all just came back, and this time she had a dual dynamic with a studious girl and a party animal. Looking at where she is now, she gives hope to everyone going through a similar life. So, that was the secret life of Lily Hubbard. Thank you so much for watching.